Hello. Good evening. Welcome to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. This is my cooking studio in my kitchen area. Um, today is Saturday, March 25th, 2023. It is 5.49 p.m. Eastern Time here on, the, here on Cape Cod in Falmouth, Mass. That's where I live. It's a it, it's cloudy all day. It was rain on and off, um, about 40, 40 degrees. You know, typical spring, you know. Um, so Mr. Good Looking is cooking, as you can see. You can see my shirt for you in camera. Thank you, Rada, totally rad for that shirt and my sign. Hope you all like my sign that new, newbies here that haven't subscribed to my channel yet. I'm up to 223 subscribers, as I checked today. Um, so today we are cooking. Cooking in the skillet, my electric skillet that I got a few weeks ago from Amazon, on Amazon. Not from Amazon, from the store that on Amazon, a Green Life skillet. Like there's so many brands out there. And like I say, I tell, they're probably all made in the ch same Chinese factory. So, you know how it goes. Everything's made in China. Let me come down off of me, enough of me. Um, kind of revisiting a, uh, a fried rice. I've done shrimp. A couple of weeks ago, I did uh, pork fried rice. Tonight, I'm doing chicken fried rice. Just swapping out the proteins. Same recipe. So I'm starting with um, two tablespoons of uh, sesame oil. I got, the, I got the skillet turned on. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. In this case, it's canola oil. And, oh... Excuse me, I've got one key ingredient. I had it all, uh, I had it all diced up earlier so I could spare you my knife skills. So, about two pounds of uh, breast meat, chicken breast meat, all cut up in, uh, you know, bite sized pieces. I mean, good sized chunk. Um, I could have done a smaller dice. But then I would have needed help with knife skills. Do you want a smaller taste? So it's a breast meat, chicken breast meat. It's about well, they're two, bre they're two thick breasts. I cut them in half to make it easier to dice up or to chunk up. Um, you could use thigh meat and stocker meat, I suppose. Um, So I'm going to cook these all the way through, um, about eight minutes. Then I'm going to remove them, just like left, my last two stuff, um, fried rice. I'm going to remove it to a plate and put in the, uh, the peas and carrots. And I'm, I'm adding edamame again. It seems a little redundant because edamames are in the pea cat, in the pea family. They just have a little bit more of a crisp to them when they cook. Uh, like I said, uh, one of my videos, I have these uh, healthy choice entrees. They're called Cafe Streamers. And a couple of their entrees have, and I'm, they're really good. I like them. I never knew what they were at first, so, you know, I saw them. So, shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you. All my regulars. Any regulars. Thank you for subscribing. You know how much I appreciate that. I mean, I'm sure you've all told you. I only do this for fun. I'm not trying to monetize my channel. I don't even know how. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever have thousand subscribers or more. Can I just do what I can, you know? Shout out to Shay. I'm glad you finally got your video worked out. You looked good the other night. With that, uh, that, that shortcut ravioli you made with the uh, la la ravioli lasagna. That's great. I'm going to have to try doing that with all, most of the ingredients from the Dollar Tree. I saw a great recipe to make my own sauce today from, uh, I'm not eating on a dime. It was another 
recipe that recipe site that I've seen before. It was on Facebook. So what I did is I shared it to my messenger so I, I'd be able to find the link. I'm gonna to try to make that next week. My own my own pasta sauce. It looks easy. I mean turn this up a little more. Now I finally got this probe set in it, the electric probe. I didn't have it plugged in all the way the last couple of times I used it. And it seemed really loose. Now it's plugged in all the way. So I've got all my other up. I'll be back in a minute. Gonna get my three eggs. Me on camera, but I juggled these all the way up now. I'm just lying. I'm just looking for a cheap glass. Now, these are medium eggs. That's what he says, large eggs, but I mean, I guess I could add, add a fourth one. The size matter? Maybe. Maybe because of hand it does. Oh, and the scrambled egg is for, I mean, the, the beef egg is for, the mixed scrambled egg to go in. That'll be after I start cooking down the peas and carrots and add a mommy. I want to get this chicken thoroughly cooked. A cup of coffee going. I poke it up. I used to have four mugs. I'll poke it up. A green, a red, a green, a blue, a black. Black was my favorite. I broke them all. The uh, hardwood floor one. I bought the hardwood floor and the hardwood floor one. Yes. They were a gift to me from QVC. Robin, thank you. Shout out to Robin. I've never seen them back in. I think they were Temptations, maybe. Okay, I still got the red one. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna when I do the crab rangoons again. It might be tomorrow. I'm not sure. I think of how I feel. Uh, I'm gonna put the oil in here or not. I probably could have cut this chicken up smaller, diced pieces. Pretty tender though. It's much more tender than the pork I did a couple weeks ago. And it was, it wasn't like a pork, like a loin pork that I cut up. It was a couple of some, some pork loin chop, boneless, that I cut into bite sized pieces. The pork was a little tough. Maybe I should have marinated it before I put it in the sauce or
that go for look for five more minutes. I think next week I'm gonna order me a couple of uh, I'm desperate need of a new cutting board and green life on Amazon, it's in this store. They got some great looking products. They have some stunning looking cookware at a great price. I mean it's like a it's like a twelve piece set. I mean, I already have cookware I got from QVC it about four years ago. I mean, if, I, if I was wanting to buy a new set of cookware, I would definitely go with that. A lot of things I want on my wish list. I'd love to have a Vitamix. I'd like to have a KitchenAid stand mixer. I always, um, and when I put this in, I put the recipe in the description area, always near the bottom, I don't know if people even go down that far to see it. I always add my home address, which would be once to send me correspondence. And I've been, I've been including my uh, my cash app ID, you know, if people want to support my channel. Maybe next month I'll go back to the shrimp fried rice. That was my favorite shrimp fried rice. That was really good. I forgot to get water chestnuts. Well, Give you that much little tin of water chestnuts. I would have put those in with the, uh, when I put the peas and carrots in. This is starting to get brown. Chicken, which is good. I'll let it go another oh, five minutes. And I'll pull it out. You know, I can probably, I don't know if this will work or work. A crafty Maria thermometer, thank you. Get this work. The one little nugget is at 165. I think that's the temperature we are looking for. One seventy. Yeah, chicken's done. Now she's browning. Thank you, Crafty Maria, for my thermometer and my gloves. I don't see you much. I haven't been on your channel in a while. I'll have to check it out. I haven't seen you on Facebook in a while. I know you go away a lot. The trip to Panama, that was Panama Canal. There's some stunning pictures.
furthest I've ever been from Cape Cod is I went to Illinois one year with my when I was married. We had one one uh, one son. We went by train, Amtrak. It was fun, great experience. We had to go about three days to get out there to where we were going. It was fun. We had a super car. We like going to the dining car too for dinner. Sometimes we got it in a, a room, a, a cabin. Probably couldn't have done that if we had, you know, the all three kids. I liked when we went. We went to Illinois. It was like a rural area of Illinois. Nobody around. No traffic. A lot of farmland. Oh, it's just, it was in June of that year we went, 2000. Weather was beautiful. Now they are known for tornadoes out there, but we didn't have any warnings when we were out there. The Watching. The only reason we went by train is I don't like flying, but the only way we were going to get to where we were flying into is to take a the big if the big jet when you fly into the airport you would have to go to, you we'd have to get on like a propeller plane, like a puddle jumper. And I'm I told her I'm not doing that. I'm not getting on a little plane. I'm sorry. I don't want to be able to see the pilot myself. That's the kind of plane it is. I'm uh, sorry. So we figured out something else. We look in the bus. That was a little bit expensive. Nothing to do on the bus. Kind of stuck on the bus for like four days. And then we looked in here. We can put in the peas and carrots and the edamame. I think I guess like saying edamame. Fun trip. We got the Amtrak out of Boston. I remember the first stop was in Albany, New York, at the Amtrak station. They had to change engines. It was a neat procedure. I'm just going to cook these peas and carrots down for a few minutes. Then I'm going to add the uh, egg.
Does anybody have plans for Easter? I don't know what day it is. I should have looked it up. Um, it's in April, right? I'm pretty sure it's April. It's different dates of the year. It's kind of confusing. Uh, I'm getting all religious, but but he's supposed to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, right? I mean, if it's a different date, it's not Christmas. It's supposedly supposed to be Christ's birthday, right? So the same day of the why isn't it, why isn't the Easter like the same day? I know it's on a Sunday at all the time. Oh. So that's enough of my religious talk. I put all the peas and carrots off the side. I'm going to put the egg in. If I was going to use another egg or two. Oh. Well, Now I'm going to add in the rice. And four cups of rice. I cooked it earlier today. So let it chill in the fridge. You want, you want your rice cold. It's better cold when you um, stir fry it like this. I have a mixture of white. Two cups of white. Two cups of brown. You can go all brown. Oh, I don't really care about white rice, so that's one reason why I mixed it. But I always cook it in my, you know, I always cook it in my rice cookers. It comes out perfect. In fact, that's the name of one of my rice cookers. It's called the Perfect Cooker from QVC. Now I'm going to add uh, salt, pepper, not a lot of salt, pepper. Um, I've added a little bit of garlic powder too this time. I didn't the last I didn't the last couple of times. Oh, and soy sauce. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. And now I'm going to put the chicken back in. Let this go for a minute with the rice and the egg. And the chicken. Oh, smells good. Oh, yes. over for a little bit.
got a couple of green onions. We need to rinse off. Like that one. But you're going to use green onions right away. They don't last very long in the fridge. It's not like you can just take like buy two or three at the. You got to buy a whole bunch of them. Unless you can sneak out some. Love the dying produce catching you. Okay, have done before. Don't use the white part. That's enough. Oh, this smells so good. Yes. I like the garlic too on it. Oh yeah, this be good. Oh yeah. Green onions, yes. Now would have been a would have would have been a failure without green onion? No, mostly for garnish. Make a little bit of taste flavor. They are onions. You could put. I, would, I was thinking of put chopping up like a half an onion and dry. You know. Stir frying it in, but I decided not to. I get out a plate here with my dinner time, so I'm gonna cover this back over. Turn that in the heat some. I want to turn it off, I'll turn it down low. I'm just gonna get me some soy sauce. I'll be right back. It's a low sodium soy sauce from Stop and Shop. Have to get some more. Not cheap. I like Kikkoman's, it's my favorite, but. Not too much for my choy. They use a. I don't have any chopsticks, so. They use a um, high fructose corn syrup in theirs. To be the jingle, the Troy makes Chinese food swing American. Hmm. That is so good. You folks must make this. Either one, either the shrimp, the pork, I think just the chicken. The chicken is really good. And I'm glad I put the garlic in. Nice taste. It was only like a half a teaspoon. Mm. 
That is so good. That's my favorite right now, besides the shrimp. Oh. Excuse me. Get some pink lemonade. Come back up to me. You see my, you see my sorry face? <laughs> so there you have it. Don't know if I'll be here tomorrow making anything. So for now, this is a good look and is um, going to go enjoy it. Some more of his uh, chicken fried rice. I told my neighbor, Tina's not home. My neighbor, he's like, oh, she is. I'll bring her over some. And uh, Steve, my other neighbor. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, it doesn't cost anything. It's free. And then click the notification bell. And you'll be warned every time I post new content. And uh, a shout out to a new friend of mine. She lives on Nantucket. Um, Amy. Amy. Um, shout out to you. I uh, hope you make it over here someday this, before the summer, maybe. Um, so anyways, 